So Roblox released a new UGC home store template and this template is just kind of a catalog avatar creator but in a bit of a different form. So if I just present it right now and well choose to do this, there is a few things that we have already in this template and one of them is the user interface on the bottom that we can simply open to well get the catalog. And we can of course search for items as well select the type of the item, for example accessories, and instead of best selling we can select the relevance. And then here is going to be our card. And if I close this, we also have stuff like these mannequins that we can basically just inspect. And if I press on one of these, for example, I'm going to inspect the accessories on this avatar. Except I need to move my camera a little bit. And then we have the options to try on, buy all and buy the items individually. So if I just press on try on, it's going to change my, well, avatar into this. So yeah, and that's like these two main things that are in this template. And also, excuse me for my voice, but as few of you saw on my Discord, I am a little bit sick. And well, maybe it's not a little bit, but yeah. And do you guys know what I also realized recently? When I was going through my channel analytics, it turns out that not even 20% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So yeah, subscribe to the channel is going to help me recover, I hope. But yeah, leave a like to support the channel and let's basically just get to overviewing this place. But on the topic that if there is someone, let's say, not familiar with Roblox Studio, how you enter this template is by simply going into the templates and then selecting the UGC home store. And once it loads, it should be right here. But let's see the project and how everything is basically done right now. So we don't have anything in the starter player. We only have the shopping GUI from the starter GUI. Then from the server script service, there is a readme script that we are going to check out in a minute. And good thing that this is here because I couldn't really find any information about the template in the dev forum. But yeah, there is also the try on the mannequins and the checkout, as well as some utility, which has these type validations. Then you have the stuff in the replicated storage. And also there is the mannequins folder in the workspace. Well, let's actually go into the readme script, which basically overviews the UGC home store template. And I can already see my throat dying with reading all of this. But basically, this template aims to be a simple way for UGC creators to show off and sell their items. And this is that the mannequins can be customized to show off bandits and accessories, which you can also try out and purchase, which this is what I showed at the beginning. There is also the 2D shop UI, which automatically loads all of the place creators UGC items and allows players to browse and purchase them. And if this place is not published, the default item published by Roblox are loaded. So if I just save this to Roblox, then just join the game from the client. If I open the store right now, I currently don't have anything on here. And I'm guessing that this is because I published all of my items on my post official group. But let's actually just continue with this. And I'm guessing that this is going to be a little bit boring to watch. So maybe I should add like a subway surfers here. Or you know what? I have a different idea since I also have this sphere. Okay, this should be a little bit better than just looking at a gray text. But there is also another note saying that if you don't have any UGC items published, nothing will show up in the shop after publishing the template. And this can be changed by setting the fetch creator name to false. And if you are a UGC creator, the following mannequins and shop sections will be of interest to you. The sections pass that are technical and explain the project setup in more depth. So I'm guessing that it's talking about all of this. So let me just quickly go through it. And each mannequin has a tag applied for easy reference in the scripts. And they also have the attributes of accessory and bundle IDs. And you separate the accessories with a comma. And for shoes, you also need to have the left and the right one. So if I just go to the workspace, then the mannequins and for example, this one is going to have the mannequin tag as well as the accessory IDs, which like mentioned are separated with a comma. You have the bundle ID and post animation and the skin color. But let's move to the shop now. And this already gets the creator's items, which was previously mentioned. And with this, you can also load items from different creators. Then there is the strict mode. And this is a scripting mode for type checking. And then there are the restricted items, which is stored in the replicated storage libraries and the restricted items. And this talks about the basically a blacklist of items that you cannot purchase. And this is useful if you are implementing a UGC giveaway mechanic or something similar and don't want exploiters to be able to arbitrarily prompt and claim the item through the included remote events. So you can, for example, exclude these items from being purchased, but you're still going to be able to make a giveaway with them. And then about the project structure, and they say that the replicated storage has all of these client objects, 
and the scripts have their own context set to the client, so they don't need to be parented to the player scripts. And what that means is that they just have the run context property set to the client right here, where the normal one is the server, where this allows for scripts to run in basically different containers, like for example the replicated storage. And then you have the server scripts in the server script service. Then you just have the locations of the client scripts and the libraries, which also tell you what they do. And then there is the camera offset, as well as the card which handles the functionality of storing items in the checkout logic, as well as removing the items from the card after purchase. And then the item detail cache, which is just used for avoiding constant HTTP calls. And something called a modal manager, which handles the layering of UI models, such as the shop and the inspect UI. And here is a triumph paragraph, which handles the main triumph functionality, like sorting which items are being tried on, as well as letting the server know when to update the character's appearance. Then you just have the remote events, the user interface in the replicated storage, then the utility location, as well as the constants, and same with the settings. Then the server utility, server checkout, and the server mannequins. And you use the create humanoid from model description method from the player service on the mannequins. And lastly, there is also the try on screen location and yeah let's maybe actually show how to for example change some of the settings up so if i just go to the replica storage then the settings i'm going to have the fetch creator name which automatically fetches the places creator name then the fallback creator name and some settings for the gamepad as well as the limit of trying on items so for example if i wanted to place vgc items from my group into this place I would just set this to false and then change the name to Paul's official group, I think. Then if I just publish this to Roblox, if I understand this correctly, I should be able to do a playtest. And then it said that place is not published, loading items from the default creator, which is Paul's official group. So if I open this, it actually loaded my UGC items from my group. And for example, I'm able to basically just write them on and basically wear them in this place. And also if I wanted to buy them, I would just press on buy. But right now I am in studio. And there is also the card, so I could simply just add these items to the card and then press on buy. And this is already going to give me the summary. But yeah, you can see that this is basically just working. Also, a thing about selling other creators UGC items is that you'd have to go into the game settings, then the security, and there is an option to allow the third party sales. And by enabling this one, players can purchase items provided by third parties. And you're also going to get a small cut from the sales. But also continuing, I also need to cover how to change the mannequins and this is going to be pretty simple. I can for example just press on one of them and from the attributes I can for example add in some of the accessories and I will simply just separate them with a comma. Then I can for example search for a bundle, then I can just leave the pause animation and for example just change the skin color, for example just beige. Where now if I do a playtest after changing this mannequin, it should load all of the provided accessories and all of the other stuff but apparently it isn't. Oh never mind here it is. And this is my avatar except it has a spider bundle. And for some reason the first person doesn't work in this place but yeah. Anyways, we basically just have this avatar right here now. And I think that about basically just covers it. I also need to hop off because like I said, I'm sick and yeah. I wanted to get this video out for you guys anyways. But yeah, as usual, I'll leave a like and support to support the channel. Also check out my Patreon page. And thank you for watching. Hope everyone had a nice day and see ya guys.